Hi guys, I'm Josh Weston, the Pixel Smith, and I'm here today in my, actually, I'm not in my shop today. I'm in a new friend's shop, and um, my new friend is Danny Hanson. And if you don't know the name Danny Hanson, you probably recognize the name The Crafty Celts. And he makes really awesome and fantastic jewelry that you can actually see on History Channel show Vikings, and it's really amazing stuff. Danny, we met last week at a Ren Faire. Yes, we did. And it was awesome, and he's invited me to come take a look at his shop. You wanna give us a tour? Tell us sure, a little well, bit about your stuff? Well, and... what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna to be doing a cast, and I've got a bunch of flasks ready to go. Oh, and you feel that. It's yeah. an instant heat it's, that's just, I wanna take my shirt off. It's uh, sitting at 1,000 degrees, ready to go, and we're gonna be making our own bronze for this today, and casting it. It's gonna be ancient bronze, 9% uh, copper, 10% tin. Awesome. Just like it was yep. to make swords and bells yeah. and what have you. So that's and, what we're going to be doing today. And these are all heated up. Um, they're molds. So, so you will pour the bronze into these right. and they'll create your final piece. Yeah, and as we go today, you'll see how the process works. Awesome. Awesome. That's, uh, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see the casting part later. Um, uh, this is kind of a dream come true for me, that this, this type of stuff. But... Can you show us some of your work while we're here? Sure. Before we get to the casting part? Which I love, love, love. I have brushed my beard with this comb, I think, every day this week. So, um, the boar's head is fantastic. It's great. Love the garnet? Garnet, yeah. yeah. The garnet eyes, take a look at those. Can you see those? The craftsmanship is just great. Now these are some pieces I haven't really looked at um, or seen before. This one, I love the knot work in that. Oh my god. Oh my god. A lemon amber in that one. That is beautiful. Now this, this is interesting. Is this a dragon head? Mm -hmm. That's great. A horse. I mean, you, you've kind of got everything. Look, a boar. I mean, you have to have a boar. Look at this. Look at it on the color blue. This pops so nice. If you don't have one of these, you need to go to his website and buy it. And what is your website again? www.craftykelts.com. C R A F T Y C E L T S. No space. James again, and this is pre, what do you call it? Do you call it smelting, melting, casting? Pre-casting. Pre-casting, and he is prepping uh, by weight the cast material. And 
Can I stick some in there? Yeah. So I just grab a handful of this? Yeah. And what's the weight we're looking for? We have letters on the cups that correspond to the flasks. Okay, so I can put more than one piece. Oh yeah, wait. This will happen and clog the machine up. Oh. It'll overflow. Okay. So you look for it exactly. Exactly. It can be off by a few grams, but as close to exact. All right, I'm still a little short. I'm at 636. <laughs> 666. Oh, I mean, no. yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> right on. Okay, and, and these are all different, different types, different meat. Is this all the same basic color? Just in different. Uh, this is the ancient bronze that we got from Rio Grande. Okay. This is the brazing rod. This is the brazing rod, and this is some. Um, that is on a mix. top is our own mix that's very similar to Rio's. Okay, and it's and it's kind of mixed in, so this will these should yeah. come out pretty similar. And we can stir it with. You can pulse the magnetic field in there, and it'll actually stir. Okay. Everything in okay. there and get a nice even. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so we've done some really magical things so far. We've heated up some bronze. Yep. We, have. Um, we started with copper and tin. Yeah, exactly. And we made this with this cool mixture. Uh, we I, yeah, I got to see this copper, ten percent tin, which is what they made uh, period bronze swords out of. Which is, and you've been using the term ancient bronze, right? Right. right. Um, and it's really beautiful. Uh, we've seen some really cool pieces come out of out of the cast, and. Um, Really wonderful process. Uh, and yours, your process here, that the machine that we were using tonight, it uses pressure. Right. So it, it takes pressure, you have the so heated... pressure. Yeah. And you've got this heated pot of molten bronze. bronze case, yeah. Right. And then, so the pressure pushes it down and there's this really hot rod. It's very cool. You can't see it when it's happening, but it pulls out and then the pressure lets all of that um, molten drop into the... Um, Blast. The flask, okay. Right. Yeah, and it comes out and we've, we've pressure washed them, we've cleaned them, and now the next step is to... We're gonna clean the investment off. I, we should point out that uh, I liked his design so much that I took a mold of it, and you can't tell this is nice bronze yet, 
but we have a whole bunch of these troll crosses in bronze now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them in, it's a bin of media and nails, and the nails clean the investment off and the media will polish off all of the, the roughness of the cast. We're put it in here. And these are just regular old carpet tacks. Carpet tacks. I mean, it's. Yeah. That's... And then some water. Got a little dishwashing detergent. So, what does the water in the detergent do for it? Basically, what detergent does is it grabs onto the particles of dirt or the investment and holds them in suspension. And the nails pick the investment off of the pieces so that we, have, when we're done with this process, we'll end up with just clean metal okay. and dirty water. And how long do you typically run the tumbler for on a set like this? I like to run like it this? overnight, okay. but I figure we'll run it, we'll go get dinner, we'll come back and we'll open up and see what it looks like. Sure, that sounds great. I'm hungry. And you know, after an hour or two, I like to change the water out anyway, because you know you change the water up two, three, four times in the process. It goes then, a little bit better. Yeah, because otherwise the dirt will stir the, yeah, the dirt will start to redeposit on the metal if you okay. run too long with dirty water. All right. Just kind of right. get it mixed up. Yeah. And then we put it just a, a, a rock tub one basically. Okay. Turn it on. And... Okay. We're about to see how these pieces finally came out. They've been in the tumbler with the with the grit the material. The yeah, nails. and the nails. Nails, um, which is really cool. I'm excited to see how these look. Um, let's do it. Let's right. take them out. Ooh, look how, yeah, that, I, was, I was not expecting the brown bubbles. And that's all that dirty oxidization that was all over, oh wow. We got a ways to go, but this is, we've gotten most of the investment, I say there's a little bit left, and as we run it overnight, Wow, I love it. And there's still a really nice earthy feel to these pieces at this point. Now the period bronze is really fun because it's always a little different every time we do it. Yeah, there's still some, some you know, little bits of patina in some places, but this one, this one looks beautiful. It's, it's even got some little bits of red in there as well. It feels really cool. And that's one of the things, the way we did the bronze, it may not be completely thoroughly mixed, we may get a little, little bit of marbling in there, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Each piece, each piece, there's a little bit of the red, each piece will be different. Yeah, it adds to the character of it, really helps sink in that ancient feel. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've had a lot of fun at the shop today. And we, look, I mean, when you end the day with a product as cool as this, you know you've had a really good day. So thanks for allowing me to come to your shop. I'm glad you can make it up. Yeah, and hopefully we'll get to do this again soon. I, I think we should. Yeah, absolutely. If you like the video and you want to see more, hit subscribe. It's a red button somewhere down below. Um, I'll send and post some links to the Crafty Celts and you should go check out his work. It's amazing, it's a beautiful, beautiful, you're gonna wanna wear it, you're gonna wanna have it, um, and I'll, I'll see you soon in a future video.